Good morning guys, uh, Scrap is back. We're gonna make a video today. Um, scrap has not been good the past few weeks. It's been uh, really hit and miss. My regular dumpsters that I normally do well out of haven't been doing well and there hasn't been a lot of extra things out there. So it's been a little bit tough. So I'm gonna make a video today no matter what. You're just gonna see what I get. And I might do the extended Sunday route today. It's nice and cool out, the wife's got plans all day, so I might just do that, but got a nice uh, BX wire. This is the three copper, one aluminum, one. So I'll probably pull the copper out of that one. So we'll take that with us. I like getting that kind of stuff. Is that critter? This is some kind of big, chisel type thing I've seen these thing, kind of things with um, ice houses like chipping out ice out of away from ice houses and stuff but they'll give me clean steel for that at the scrapyard and I don't need it so I'll take that with me I'll take that with throw that right there let's see if there's anything else in here so yeah, it's just been a little unusual that the scrap hasn't been good. Um, yeah, it's just been kind of weird lately. That's how it goes though, you know. Take good with the bad. You gotta flip the lids to find this stuff and whether your regular dumpsters are paying out or not, what are you gonna do? You gotta just keep going until it gets better, so. All right, let's head on to the next one, see what's up. There's a little something in here, I think. Ooh. That's what I saw. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> Woof. A little piece. You now people say, get in the dumpster, blah, blah, blah. Uh, nothing I can do with those things. My yard won't even take them. Um, those little braided, stainless steel braided hoses. I can't really do anything with them, except cut the, cut the ends of them off, but, um, I don't do that a lot. Cut those ends off. It dulls my, uh, cutter pretty bad. A couple little copper chunks. And then this guy has been uh, sitting here for, I don't know, a month now, just like this. It's just all wood. Whole thing is just chunks of, chunks of wood and else, you know, there's some of this hose kind of stuff. A little bit of carpet, but it's just nothing I can use in here. Somebody could probably use this thing before it got all wet. There's a lot of nice pieces of scrap wood in here. They're getting all warped and so on and so forth from the from the rain. There's a nice, actually a nice piece of walnut I was gonna grab. I was thinking about taking, but it was that kind of weird thing. Like some kind of a railing sample or something i don't know it's kind of interesting though. oh there's a chunk of wire in here i didn't see that before when i looked in here i'm glad i walked over up to i think i left my cutters in the car i'll have to get the cutters and come grab that thing i might take that piece of walnut too we'll see so I'm gonna go grab that thing and then uh, I'll get the cord off of there and then we'll see what's up. Yeah, I got something down in here, I think. A little piece of brass. Stuff at $1.50 a pound. That's probably two ounces of brass right there. I mean, it just, it's kind of amazing how fast brass can add up. I'll tell you the truth. I've got some 
number one wire. That's always nice. Freaking bugs. PVC down there. I don't want that stuff. Although I did um, make a contact with a guy that owns a golf course in Wisconsin, next state over. And he wants, he's looking for two to two, two and a half and three inch CPVC pipe, the gray stuff. So this is the Schedule 40 white stuff. It's the Schedule 80, it looks like this, but it's gray. He's looking for that stuff. And, uh, and I do run across it once in a while. And he said he'd pay me for my time to grab it up. And I sold him a, I sold him a tub full of stuff for about 50 bucks the other day. That's not wire, is it? No, that's a black tube. Anyway, a little piece of wire. So I sold him some stuff, so I'm kind of going to start watching out for that stuff because that's easy money. He works in the city right next to me, but he lives in Wisconsin where he owns the golf course. And uh, so it's no big deal for him just to stop by my house. So that's good. Oh, there's a little piece of copper wire sitting right in front of me. I didn't even see it. All right. So it's good when you can make little contacts like that. That's another thing about reselling that's helpful is, uh, you know, the, the people that buy stuff from you, especially specific things, they might always be looking for stuff like that. And when you find it, it's an easy boom boom sell rather than hanging on to it not knowing what to do with it but anyway let's go on to the next one little direct tv dumpster action looks like we got something in here today which is nice get the easy stuff first i thought i saw another one there it is there's another one There's another one. There's another one. Nice little handful of drop cord. Take them. So my yard does not take coax wire. I've said that before in here, but thought I'd say it again. This stuff's a little different. This is more like communications wire. It's five or six wires wrapped in a um, aluminum or copper coating that has like a waterproof jelly coating stuff on the inside. Um, my yard calls it jelly wire and I get paid for it, so I take it. But it just gets so tangled up in here. Let's do this. That is fiber optic wire on that one. That piece. But this stuff is nice. It adds up and then there's two dumpsters I find this stuff in quite a bit. And um, it, you can get a pretty full tub, a good 40, 50 pound tub of this stuff pretty quickly. Which is nice. I'll pick that up in a second. Keep it out of my way for now. Piece of drop cord. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, a little piece of Cat 5 take that that's always nice those definitely look brass ends on that one I don't always do this because you could sit here I could sit there for three days and cut all those things off all that wire I would get extraordinarily bored and this video would get terrible doing stuff like that so I do not do that too often. Uh, 
different pieces and he had this stuff repacked in here today and I don't like digging too far into this because it uh, the wind starts to take everything and usually when there's a bunch of styrofoam in here it's usually all over the bottom so I think that'll be about it out of here today. So there's a funny little tidbit for you. So I'm, this is the dumpster right by that direct TV dumpster where we just checked. So the thing's behind me. I never take ceiling fans. Um, because they're bulky, because the blades are always on them. So this is the second day in a row. Yesterday I did my Saturday route. And there was a ceiling fan that was completely taken apart. These things were off, everything was off. So it was just the motor and all the parts in there. Like somebody scrapped it up and didn't turn it in. I don't know. This is the only way I'll really take them. So that's just strange that two days in a row. Something going on here. I'll take that and see what it is. Power cord, some kind for maybe a printer. That thing's empty. Little Dell monitor. That looks easy enough to pop the boards out of. Small enough to fit my garbage can. Huh, let's see what's in that thing. Not dumping but technically this isn't legal I would suppose because I am going behind a fence but having said that I've talked to these guys before and nobody's ever complained that I was in here so I will take it as a sign that they don't really care what's that thing Some kind of charging cable. Look at this thing. Huh. There's actually quite a bit more in here than I thought, which is always good. Another cable, another power cord. More cover five. Yeah, that's all zip coated, zip tied together. Another one of those things. Oh, I know. Well, that's the black. Okay, I get it. Let's see if we can get that to come off. There she goes. I just want that part. Hmm. I think they are, I think honestly what they are is lottery ticket printers. Pretty sure that's what they are. Screen's detached for me, that's nice. I think that's about it. Okay, well, that's got the potential to be kind of productive, I think. I'm sure there's nothing in there. This stuff was in here last time I was here, so I know there's nothing really underneath all that junk. Let's put the lid back the way we had it.
but I'm pretty sure that's what those are. Always leave things the way you found them. I have three here that I check. This one's always disgusting. And of course it is. This one usually has just a bag or some boxes in it. Empty. And this one doesn't have things in there very often of any value to me. But every once in a while they will throw some stock out that I've made some pretty good money on. So I always check that one. Nothing in there today. And this is always a good dumpster to get boxes in when I need it because they don't break them down. So that's always good. So next thing we're gonna do is, let's see. I suppose head towards the retirement dumpster and then we'll see what's going on. I did forget about this one before we go to the retirement dumpster. Which is good that I remembered because it looks pretty decent right at the start here. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's, uh, this is the heavy stuff that looks like Cat 5, but it's not Cat 5. It's like, uh, it's a multi connector wire. But they give me 70 cents a pound for it, and that stuff's a little windier all of a sudden. I'm sorry. This stuff's pretty heavy. It's a uh, good three pounds right there. So that's a nice start. Be nice if there's a whole bunch more of it in here. What is that stuff? I think this is aluminum wire. It's all buried under all this stuff. I'll fight with that later. What is that? Kind of a fire alarm or something? I don't know. Ooh, that stuff's in the concrete. And it's partially empty. We'll take it. pieces here and there I'll have to get the stick out and grab. That stuff is definitely in the concrete there. You have to grab the stick to reach a few of these things. that little bit of stuff and then we will get flying here don't forget that right What's that? piece of plastic well here's my uh here's <laughs> this kind of sums it up and how things have been going for me lately here's my one of my most productive dumpsters right here and it is covered in this plastic crap and then there's a big giant TV box underneath it. And a big giant garbage bag. I mean, it's just unreal how things have been not going very well. Yeah, we're gonna get lucky. This is all their garbage pile out here. I know this is, I'm not taking anything that they don't care about right here. I've seen this stuff out here before and in their dumpsters. So I will definitely have all this. Four 
for sure. So this place is a, uh, um, a restoration company. They pull out fire and water damaged things and you know restore the building or the property or whatever it is. Sometimes you can find some kind of interesting things in here. Like that, that is aluminum, I think. I think these are. No, they're steel. They wouldn't be that light. But I think I have a magnet, I'll check. Big old steel pallet. There's all the crates. So there's the crates, they're throwing them out. Suitcase with something in it. Some kind of broken vase. Where's the zipper? There it is. Oh, there we go. Something fun in here. What is that? A belt buckle. I'll take. Some tools and wrenches. Like that. There's some monster cables. We'll take those with us. There's a monster cable. Look at that. Big old giant Zippo. It's not a Zippo, but that's funny. I don't think I've ever seen, even seen one of those before. Huh. Take it. What else is in here? Gross clothes, healthy firehouse cookbook, picture hanging stuff. I've got so much of that at home, it's ridiculous. Hi from Folly Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> oh my. Nice to open up one of those cards and find a $50 bill. Hockey puck. I don't need that. But let's see if that stuff is aluminum or not. So I lost my magnet, so I took a magnet and I embedded it in the bottom of my hammer. That is steel. Yeah, I can feel it sticking. All right, well, that was kind of cool. And we got two more to go down there. Let's go check those. Nasty couch. It's unusual that they have one sitting down there. 
towards the end. I need my clippers, I think. Tile, tile, tile. I got so many of these at home too. I just, I can't take any more of that kind of stuff. After a while, I mean, there's just only so much room and so much time you have. So much, only so much time you have to do anything. Um, I just can't take it all. That nice motor just fell out of that thing for me. It's always nice. When the scrap gods giveth. A couple of things of cat litter. You know what? I'm gonna take this cat litter. I'm up only about, um, there's a humane society only about a mile from here. I'm going to drive by it on the way out of here. I'm going to drop this off to him. Some brand new bags. They'll take them. We'll drop those off to the the nice animal people. What else we got under here? Ooh, right on. Big old set of jumper cables. This might be nice. That whole thing's just gonna have to come with me. Kind of embedded in there. I need to take that screw out. You know, something else kind of interesting down here. That we're gonna get to in a second. Kind of one thing at a time. That's what caught my eye. Isn't that interesting? And there's something else down there too. What else is this? All right, let's see if I can get this out without. Uh... EG, you think that works? Do you think I care if it doesn't? It's coming with me. <laughs> What's that? Heavy duty utility pump. That's coming with. Alright, I think I need to do a little reorganizing here. Let's do this. Let's get this back here. Like that. That guy in there. Cat litter over here like that. I think that saw will go nicely right there. Perfect.
What other junk do they got down here? This drywall. Nail, nail gun nails. Fuel vapor holes, I don't need that. That is aluminum. I'll take that, I'll squash that down later. Yeah, there's some other stuff down here. Precision screwdriver. You can always use those things, right? Air filter, light bulbs. Box of screws. There's nice wire in those things. I've run across those before. Take that with. What else is in here? What do you suppose those are? Anybody know what those are? There's no brand name on them. Can't say I've seen one of those before. pair of roached gloves. There's some more of those things. Hmm. They almost look like a like a pole is supposed to go right here. And that seems like a handle to me. It's like the right fit for a handle. Keep your hand up. There's another one of those cords. There's a chunk of brass. Nice. Drill chuck. Take that. What's that? Black and Decker drill with water pouring out of it. Can't figure out what they are though. At the worst, they'll go as dirty aluminum. And these I don't need. I've got so many of these things, it's ridiculous. Although, I will take this handle off of it. looks like a handy handle for a you never know kind of thing so I'll take that throw in my toolbox we got the power cord off of that that's the rest of that blower motor that the, the motor popped out of. Put that in my pocket before I walk away and leave them. Chewed up boot. Huh. God, it scared me. 
<laughs> oh, I got my heart racing a little bit. It's funny, you know, you're in these dumpsters and I mean, these guys that, that are at this place, they know I come in here. I mean, I've had them walk in and out and they're like, hey, what's going, you know, blah, blah, blah. They know, but it's still just gets you a little on edge doing this stuff sometimes that people are gonna, you know, walk up on you. All right, that looks like about it. Let's go. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is this. I think what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna end this video now for the most part. And I'll show you if this, if the uh, Makita saw works or not back there. So, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure if I was able to try it or not because I did see when I was putting other stuff in there the wire looked kind of frayed in spots and I don't want to um, kill myself so I might have to change the cord out before I try. So if that was the result, sorry about that. Anyway, you know if it works or not or if I have to show you later. So let's end the video. I'm going to carry on and do my Wisconsin route but I'm going to make it kind of a part two of this day. Um, else this video is going to get like over an hour long so let's end it now thanks for watching my videos if you guys want to check out what happens on the wisconsin side of my route um check out part two that'll be coming out soon all right thanks guys see ya